Um, I'm gonna do weekly vlogs now. I used to document all the time in high school and I've just been missing it lately. So I'm gonna try and do this once a week and just kind of recap at the end of the week just what was going on. So I'm gonna include this last Sunday because it was super fun. I got to work with my good friend Natalia DeSena who's a really awesome photographer and she was doing a shoot for this beauty salon called Nomadic Goat. They're fairly new in Portland and they wanted to do a shoot so we did and I got to assist Natalia and it was super fun. I hadn't done like anything editorial in a while. That's not, I can't see it. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that Now took pretty much like the whole day, so that was like my whole day. And on Monday, I went to Bowdoin, which is like this beautiful, beautiful, like one of the most beautiful campuses ever. I drove up to Bowdoin with my friend Shelby and Sophie. And we went to go see Roxane Gay, um, which I read her book, Bad Feminist, and I highly recommend it if you haven't watched it, or watched it, if you haven't read it really 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 good and she's a phenomenal writer and has a new book coming out that she was reading from um and that was really exciting it was free and open to the public and i'm so happy we got there at the time that we did because the line was so friggin long <laughs> and it just got crazy <laughs> by the time that the doors opened she was really funny and amazing and real. Something I'm really thinking through, and I think I'm going to write about it, but <laughs> I thought it was a shit show. And I thought it was a new low in reality television, which yeah. is saying something. <laughs> I mean, reality television has been pretty... And um, just a treat to see. So I was so happy we got to do that. And we ended the night by getting gelato fiasco. And I got my favorite flavor, which is like the main, like wild main blueberry crisp, which is so good. And the rest of the week I just kind of worked and it was like really kind of slow, slow week for me. Well, it's this lighting that's coming from below. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, like we're in a horror movie. <laughs> it's like this one would be like, like a flashlight. Picked up Sophie from work. There she comes. That mac and cheese. Hey. Hey. Ate some mac and cheese. Push. Watch me dump this all over your clean stove. No. Yes, yes. Lay down. Lay down. Roll over. Roll over. Oh, oh good girl! Wow. She's so smart. You're so smart. Jackpot. And then my friend Christine came into town from Richmond to visit. She's moving back up here in the summer, so I'm so excited. We went to Rose Foods, which is this really yummy bagel place. Spring is trying so hard. And I found out that they have my favorite like little sweet treat from whenever I was growing up in Texas, which is kind of crazy, but I was so excited. Found these like all the way up in Maine. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, it's crumbly. It's like the best sweet treat on the go. <laughs> Then we went to Brunswick to the Brunswick flea market, which is like my one of my favorite weekend activities. Hi. <laughs> That's where I was going. And just looked at all the weird stuff at the flea market. 
beautiful. And took a look at the um, antique market too. in the evening. <laughs> Junie! <laughs> wow. Popcorn is good. The popcorn worked out. There's that. There's that. And then we can just look at these. Mm -hmm. They're not meant for eating. Yeah. We ended the weekend, me and Sophie just going to visit our grandmother who I love. The drive back was just really nice. We decided to take the back roads this time. just really really nice and it was a it was like a pretty good week I'm already like really excited about next week so I'll see you guys then